What's up? So, um, what I'm getting ready to, what I'm getting ready to get into right now, as far as this video, I created a video, um, dealing with this subject before, but the subject is so important from a philosophical, theological, um, even mathematical and scientific, uh, point of view that I felt like uh, I felt the need to uh speak about it again so in quantum mechanics or quantum physics rather you have something called quantum entanglement quantum entanglement is when two particles each particle could be on the other side of the universe from each other but Whenever something happens to one particle that changes the state of that particle, the other particle, in relation to the f the, the former, the first one, um, their state changes as well. They're affected by that by that change of of state in in the first or original particle. So. Point being, whatever happens to one, even though they're so far apart from a, from a location uh, reference point, even though they're so far apart, when well, one is affected, the other one feels it or experiences that, again, uh, change of state, that effect. The same thing now, now, what's shown in heaven is shown on earth. The same thing applies to free thinking man in relation to the supreme intelligence. Remember, this is just a microcosmic reflection of a grander reality. This world. So when we experience something and do that experience, our state of being change begins to change. The supreme intelligence is affected by that as well. Every time we learn something about ourselves and cause our state of being to change, the supreme intelligence learns something about itself also, since we are just a smaller version of this intelligence. So, in conclusion, quantum physics, quantum mechanics, quantum entanglement reflect our reflection or the process that that um, that is involved in quantum entanglement is just a, again a microcosmic reflection of a grander reality. That reality being um, the relationship between free thinking man and his creator.